Hey everybody, welcome to Pet Services Pro, a show for you and your pets. If you're wondering about hedgehogs and want to learn more about them, then this video is for you. We're about to introduce you to one of the most interesting little animals that also make good, cute little pets, so you can decide if a hedgehog is right for you. I understand they are different. They are spiny and look painful, but don't worry because today we're going to share with you some reasons why you may want to consider this little creature as a new friend. Make sure to watch until the end because this video will be packed with lots of good information and you're going to want to hear all of it. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss any videos on how to take care of your pets and feel free to ask questions. We love them and we answer them. So let's get into it. What is a hedgehog? Hedgehogs are cute little animals that are very interesting. They have quills, like a porcupine, but are not related to them. They're actually related to moles and shrews. The quills are thicker and shorter than the porcupine, and they stay in the skin of the hedgehog rather than release when the hedgehog is threatened. Their quills are located on their head and back, and their underside is soft fur. They have a little stub for a tail. There are a lot of types, and they live in a lot of different environments in the wild, from desert to savannas, forests to backyards. A lot of them are from Africa. The common pet hedgehog is usually the African pygmy, and if you've ever seen a baby hedgehog, ugh, oh, so cute! Why are they good pets? They are small, cute, and quiet. They're great for apartment dwellers because they live in a cage and don't bark. If you have a regular job during the day, that's perfect because hedgehogs are nocturnal and won't come out until evening. They won't be lonely for you during the day. They are not cuddly at all. They are hard to hold. They can get used to being held, but they may snuffle and buck a bit for a while until they get used to you. They will roll up into a ball with their quills spread, but will relax and unroll. You can wear gloves if it hurts or scoop them up with a clean cat litter scooper dedicated to this purpose. It's best to let them sit on your flat hand rather than holding them around their bodies. Give them some time when you first get them to get to know you and learn who feeds them, then gradually increase the time you pick them up and hold them. They should eventually relax. They are solitary animals and don't like to interact with other hedgehogs or pets. They enjoy exercising in their cage or exploring their house, supervised of course. Mine always enjoyed the exercise wheel in their cage. They would run on it for a long time. You can put them in a large hamster ball to roam around safely, but please watch them all the time. You don't want them to tumble downstairs in the ball. A baby hedgehog is called a piglet. Isn't that adorable? The African pygmy hedgehog is small, about the size of a guinea pig, so they are great to have if you are looking for a smaller fur friend. Their average lifespan is about 8 to 10 years. Hedgehogs like to dine on all kinds of things. They are insectivores and omnivores, so they spend a lot of time eating insects, but also will eat rodents, snakes, fruits, and vegetables. There are commercial hedgehog diets available, and you can also feed them a low-fat, grain-free, good quality cat food. For housing, they can be kept in a regular rodent wire cage. In the wild, they will find burrows to sleep in, so they like places to hide. A small cardboard box with a little blanket or towel inside to snuggle in makes a nice little bedroom for him. You may need to replace the box if it gets dirty, plus wash the bedding every so often. They can be litter box trained, so you can provide them with a small litter box for kittens or smaller pets, and a safe litter such as those pellet types made from paper. Of course provide food and water, and maybe some toys. If you feed insects, fruits and veggies, take these out at the end of the day so they don't rot. So you see, housing them is easy and cheap. If you are considering getting more than one, you should house them separately. They are loners and prefer to be by themselves. Keeping more than one in the same cage may lead to arguments between them, so have separate cages away from each other. There may be times when your little hedgehog needs medical attention, whether it's a regular annual checkup or an illness, parasites, or injury. Check around your local area to find a veterinarian that sees exotics and hedgehogs, and also an emergency vet that sees them too. 
have these phone numbers and addresses readily available so you don't need to dig for them when the time comes. It's interesting to watch them with other pets. When confronted by another animal, or a human they don't know, they will roll up in their defensive ball, huff at them, and buck forward if they get too close. Getting quills poked in your nose or paw hurts, so your dog or cat or young child will learn quickly that hedgehogs are not fun to be around. Still, someone can get hurt, so always supervise them around pets and kids. They are truly interesting and entertaining little animals, and they make a wonderful little addition to your family. So there you have it, an introduction to hedgehogs. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss more videos about great pets, pet care, and much more. Check out our other video about caring for hedgehogs at the link in the description, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.